Welcome to day four of our Every Nation Global Prayer and Fasting Week. Today, I'm going to be looking at one of the immutable attributes of God's goodness. God is just. Uh, in the world that we live in, that is filled with so much injustice, pain, uh, evil, and brokenness, we can be tempted to settle for a low view of God's justice. You see, some of us might uh, begin to deny the fact that God is just, whilst others might become despondent to the justice of God. Whilst maybe there are other people who, like the Israelites, can tend to fall into the trap of forgetting that God is a just God. And in Deuteronomy chapter 32, Moses pens a song for the Israelites. The, the point of the song is to help the Israelites to remember essential truths, not just about themselves, but primarily essential truths about God. And here's what he says in verse four. The rock, his work is perfect for all his ways are justice, a God of faithfulness and without iniquity, just and upright is he. Moses begins this, this song by, by speaking about the nature of God. And he says that God is a rock. He is the rock. He is faithful, he is consistent, he is immovable, he is unchanging. This is the backdrop to the next thing that Moses says, that his work is perfect. You see, God not only has a standard, but God is the standard of all that is right and good, and he is the one who upholds the standard. Therefore, the work of God can never be below the standard of God. Thus, the work of God is always perfect. And one of the reasons Moses knows that this is true is because he knows that all the ways of God are justice. That, that in God's dealings with humanity and with, with brokenness and evil, that, that he, he is not just a God who is fair, but more importantly, God is a God who is accurate in his dealings. He uses an accurate measure when he distributes his ways. We, we know this as well because in the book of Exodus, we see a perfect image of the justice of God being accurately distributed. You see, when, when the Israelites are crossing the Red Sea and the Egyptians chase after them, the, the God allows the sea to fall upon the enemies of God. And in that moment, what we see is the justice of God punishing evil and yet defending and making a way for those who are oppressed and have their backs most against the wall. Moses continues to say that he is a God of faithfulness, who is without iniquity, upright and just he is. God has no inward corruption. That there is no inward brokenness in God. He is righteous, completely righteous in nature. Therefore, if we believe that God is just, we then must believe that, that his standards are always right, his judgments are always accurate, his faithfulness is always against injustice, and he's righteous in nature. But the ultimate picture of God's justice is actually the cross. When we look at the cross, we see that God not only exposes and punishes evil, but he also makes a way for those who are far from God and those who have been oppressed by evil. But when we behold the resurrection, we realize that God through Jesus is not just a just God, but he has become the justifier of all those who put their faith in him. Romans 3 verse 25 to 26 says, says it like this. God put forward Jesus as a appropriation by his blood 
to be received by faith. This was to show God's righteousness because in his divine forbearance, he had passed over former sins. It was to show his righteousness at the present time so that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. Because God is just, he expects us to be just in all our relationships. Lord, I pray that this week you would remind us of your justice. You would inspire us, Lord God, with your justice. Remind us, Lord, to keep our eyes in the midst of a broken world, to keep our eyes fixed on the God who is just, on the God who is the rock, on the God who is righteous in all his dealings, accurate in all his ways. Amen.